surface crashing, the sun's out, the cool Pacific waters are really what define our lifestyle and our wines at Jaylor. 40 years ago, we wanted gravelly, well-drained soil. It was just a mantra of where you should really grow grapes. The thing that's unique uh, about the Arroyo Seco in general is that it's uh, foggy in the morning, typically, but it's cool. I was always very interested in what uh, many people would call vertically integrated farming, to where whatever we planted, we would also package and sell. The Salinas Valley, where the Arroyo Seco is, is framed on one side by the Santa Lucia Mountains and the Gavilan Mountain Range, the other side of the valley. But there's no mountain range sort of blocking the ocean's impact directly into the Arroyo Seco. This is where it all begins with that cold ocean air that keeps the entire Salinas Valley and of course the Arroyo Seco nice and cool and creates that long growing season that really is the signature of quality for our Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grown in this area. The waters of Monterey Bay, we have what we call the Blue Grand Canyon where we literally the ocean waters are as deep as, as the Grand Canyon in depth. The submarine canyon off Monterey Bay is the largest and deepest on the west coast and the only one that really defines a major wine region. So this area is a prime upwelling zone, meaning that the water near the ocean's bottom is driven to the surface by a combination of winds, the contour of the coastline, and the Earth's rotation. In our wine growing region, we talk about the thermal rainbow. And so the most northerly regions are the coolest. And as you move further south, where the hot air begins to rise, it sucks that cold air through the valley. One of the great things about the Arroyo Seco Appalachian Monterey County is that every afternoon, the winds come down the Salinas Valley at 20 to 25 miles per hour. It starts to cool down the vineyard. This means that the ripening slows down, and as a result, we have a longer growing season. By having this longer growing season, we're able to get flavor ripeness at the same time as sugar ripeness. And that's part of what gives us all the rich fruitiness of our Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs. So one of the things we did really early on was night harvesting of our whites. And really what you're capturing is the fruit when it's cold. And ultimately what that means is that the juice is very fresh and fruity with all of its acidity intact and the grapefruit flavors. And then I think the thing that's our value added at the winery is that it's 100% barrel fermented and the barrel fermentation just adds this layer of complexity and creaminess and richness. It's what makes making Chardonnay in Monterey County and particularly the Arroyo Seco, I think, so, so much fun. The Chardonnay there is just a great base upon which to build all this richness and complexity. In our vineyards here in the Arroyo Seco, we have three distinct soil types. Up on top here, we have roughly two feet of very sandy loams, lots of small gravel. We also have these cobbles in the soil. They provide for great drainage in general for the soil, let the vines roots go very deep, but also if they're on near the surface of the soil, they tend to catch heat during the day, release it at night, and those vineyards, particularly for Chardonnay, really brings out a pretty sort of floral character in the Chardonnay. This vineyard has really got that eastern aspect and it really just, it wakes up with the morning sun. And so it's getting the photosynthetic activity from, from the light when the temperatures are still very moderate. In the Royal Seco Appalachian of Monterey County, we have offerings such as our Riverstone Chardonnay and our Bay Mist White Riesling, but we also have some new wines like our Falcon's Perch Pinot Noir. Then you move up to the next tier, and that's called Vineyard Series, Arroyo Vista Chardonnay. We're really investing into very specific locations to get very precise flavor attributes into those wines. There's some fabulous food here. You, know? you can go almost anywhere in the world, and I don't think you can, can compete with what we get here in Monterey. We have no trouble at all finding great companions, you know, seafood, shellfish to go with with our cool climate white and our cool climate red, that being Pinot Noir. And there are great things to see here in the Monterey area, from the Lone Cypress to 17 Mile Drive. Of course, we've got some of the greatest golf courses in the world, to Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey, the Aquarium, the Carmel Mission. 
as time goes on and, and we continue to experience growth and prosperity at the winery, we're really working with uh, high value locations and high density plantings and all the rest of those things that go into making the finest wine possible. As a representative of Jay Lore, I always find plenty of companionship when I walk into a restaurant and, and tell people you know, where I work and the wines that I'm responsible for. We always get such a great reception from wine stewards, restaurant people, and even people sitting at the next table always have uh, something real nice to say about Jay Lore.